Voyager 1 was part of NASA's Voyager program, launched to study the outer solar system and beyond. Its primary objectives included conducting flybys of Jupiter and Saturn and studying their moons, rings, and magnetic fields. Additionally, the mission aimed to explore the heliosphere, the region influenced by the Sun's solar wind, and eventually enter interstellar space. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977. After its launch from Earth, Voyager 1 followed a trajectory that allowed it to conduct flybys of Jupiter and Saturn. By using gravity assists from these planets, the spacecraft gained enough velocity to escape the solar system and eventually venture into interstellar space. On March 5, 1979, Voyager 1 conducted its closest approach to the mighty gas giant, Jupiter. This encounter would change our understanding of the solar system forever. The spacecraft's cameras revealed something astonishing. Active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon, Io. This marked the first time we discovered volcanic activity beyond Earth. As Voyager 1 sailed through the Jovian atmosphere, it captured mesmerizing images of intricate cloud patterns and the legendary Great Red Spot. The data provided crucial insights into Jupiter's atmospheric dynamics and weather phenomena. But that's not all. Voyager 1 expanded our moon catalog by identifying previously unknown satellites, bringing Jupiter's moon count to an impressive 17. After its monumental journey at Jupiter, Voyager 1 continued its quest, setting its sights on the ringed beauty, Saturn. In November 1980, Voyager 1 delivered stunning, high-resolution images of Saturn's magnificent rings, revealing gaps and divisions that provided scientists with invaluable data about their structure. As if Saturn's rings weren't enough, Voyager 1's cameras spotted more moons. The spacecraft's discoveries added four new moons to Saturn's roster, bringing the grand total to 21. In August 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space, becoming the first human-made object to journey into the vast expanse beyond our solar system. Voyager 1 a daring explorer that forever changed our understanding of the outer solar system and humanity's place in the cosmos. Its epic journey continues, reaching towards the stars and carrying with it our boundless curiosity. Voyager 2 was also part of NASA's Voyager program and shared similar objectives to Voyager 1. Its primary mission was to perform flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and study their atmospheres, magnetic fields, rings, and moons. It also aimed to study the heliosphere and eventually explore interstellar space. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977, a few weeks before Voyager 1. Voyager 2 followed a slightly different trajectory than Voyager 1 allowing it to perform flybys of all four gas giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Like Voyager 1, it used gravity assists from these planets to gain the necessary velocity for its mission. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 roamed through the cosmos, paving the way for remarkable encounters with some of our solar system's most enigmatic planets. On July 9, 1979, Voyager 2 made its closest approach to the gas giant, Jupiter. Much like its twin, Voyager 1, it captured breathtaking images of Jupiter's swirling cloud patterns. Voyager 2's keen eye didn't stop there. It uncovered new mysteries in the form of undiscovered moons, adding to our understanding of Jupiter's vast moon system. A year later, on August 26, 1981, Voyager 2 reached the magnificent ringed planet, Saturn. The spacecraft's cameras provided us with a treasure trove of information about Saturn's rings, 
revealing even more about their structure and composition. Not to mention, it introduced us to more of Saturn's diverse moons. On January 24, 1986, Voyager 2 set its course for the mysterious, icy planet, Uranus. As Voyager 2 ventured close to Uranus, it captured the first ever close-up images of this distant planet, uncovering its peculiar tilted magnetic field and its icy atmosphere. And the surprises didn't end there. Voyager 2 revealed 10 new moons around Uranus. Voyager 2's odyssey continued, leading it to the blue giant, Neptune. On August 25, 1989, Voyager 2 gifted us with the first detailed images of Neptune and its intriguing moon, Triton. The data it sent back provided valuable insights into their surface features and geological formations. And there it was, Neptune's very own great dark spot, a colossal storm akin to Jupiter's great red spot. Voyager 2's observations offered a rare glimpse into the dynamic weather systems of distant worlds. But Voyager 2's journey didn't end there. Just like its twin, Voyager 1, it too ventured beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Crossing the heliopause in its own time, Voyager 2 is destined to become the second human-made object to enter the uncharted territory of interstellar space, unraveling the secrets of the cosmos beyond. Voyager 2, a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity, continues its timeless expedition, reminding us that the quest for knowledge knows no bounds. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were equipped with state-of-the-art instruments, each designed to unlock the secrets of our cosmic neighborhood. On board Voyager 1, the Imaging Science subsystem captured mesmerizing images of Jupiter and Saturn, while the Infrared Interferometer Spectrometer and Radiometer measured their thermal radiation. Voyager 2 also carried similar instruments, such as the ultraviolet spectrometer and the plasma spectrometer, allowing it to provide complementary data to its twin. But perhaps their most iconic payload was the Golden Record, a message from Earth to any potential extraterrestrial civilizations. It contained greetings in over 55 languages, sounds of Earth, music from various cultures, and images portraying our diverse planet. As of 2023, the Voyagers are still in operation past the outer boundary of the heliosphere in interstellar space. They collect and transmit useful data to Earth. Despite their immense distances from Earth, both Voyager spacecraft are still communicating with us. They transmit data via the Deep Space Network, a series of ground-based antennas managed by NASA. These antennas receive the faint signals from the Voyagers and send commands to the spacecraft. The signals from the Voyagers are incredibly weak due to their distance, and they arrive at Earth with extremely low power levels. Scientists use highly sensitive receivers and large antennas to detect and decode these faint signals. The Deep Space Network dedicates precious telescope time to stay in contact with the Voyagers as they continue their journey into interstellar space.